Welcome to the Bahrain International Circuit. Any moment now, our drivers will take to the track and the Bahrain Grand Prix will begin. There's no shortage of passing opportunities around the 3.36 miles of the Bahrain International Circuit, with the best at turn one, of course, and then another soon into turn four. 15 corners here, six to the left and nine to the right, and we could see one or two flat spots into the tight left-hander of turn 10. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? Well, the throttle goes both ways, Crofty. You've got to have the discipline not to try and win the race on the first lap. So always be prepared to lift early and give those around you more space. Trying to be the last of the late breakers with half a dozen cars around you may pay off from time to time, but it's also a great way to lose your front wing. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lando Norris will lead us away from pole position, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Hamilton, Bottas, Sergio Perez, and Leclerc, Ricardo, Gasly, Sainz, and Fernando Alonso, Vettel, Ocon, Lance Stroll, and Sonoda. Raikkonen, Russell, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Mick Schumacher, Latifi, and Nikita Mazepin. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? What's going on, dude? It's your dude, Jeremy Dude, and welcome back to F1 2021. Yes, we are back with F1. We are in the 2021 season. The uh, last time we uh, played F1 was back uh, a few months ago where we played F1 2020. Uh, it was a lot of fun, done 23 races at the time and won the world championship by about a few points over Hamilton and Verstappen. Now we are in F1 2021. Uh, this is going to be interesting because not only I'm going to be playing this on F1 2021, but this time I'm going to be playing this off a different console. Last time uh, on 2020, I was playing the PS4. Now I'm playing the PS5 because I just got, got this set up and I'm excited to try this out. This is going to be the first game for me to record uh, on the PS5. So this should be interesting. Uh, apologies if my audio looks uh, sounds a bit uh, tacky, a bit horrible. Um, it's a new mic setup I have as well. So bear with me. I'm doing everything I can the best for your entertainment. Uh, for this uh, season, I've actually done a lot of changes for this season. Instead of 22 races, I've now lowered it down to 20 just to make it quicker, more fun. I've upped the race length to 50% uh, for each race. And I've also uh, changed a bit of settings on my car as well, make it more challenging for me against the other drivers. Uh, through qualifying, I took the pole uh, only because I was uh, qualifying up against 80% drivers. Uh, it looks like I was about 8 tenths quicker than the second driver, and then after the last one, it was down to two tenths because I didn't go for a second one because of how fast I was, and I was so confident, and yet I took pole. Uh, I believe that Stefan was right, uh, is right next to me on the front row. Everybody else lines up on the grid. This is F1 2021. Obviously, it's the 2021 driver's lineup. Uh, this time around, I'm playing as Lando Norris, as you can see. Um, the reason being is because Daniel Ricciardo moved to McLaren in the 2021 season. I was thinking about playing him again, but I decided to change things up and play his teammate Lando Norris. So it's going to be a lot of fun how it goes then. Uh, should be interesting um, looking at the race strategy. Uh, since it's 50%, we're going two stops for this uh, race. Uh, one pit stop will be at lap 7. And the other will be at lap 16, where we change from soft to mediums at the time. So, should be fun. Uh, let me lower the fuel load to see how well I can sa save it. Possibly around here is good enough. And so, yeah. Um, yeah, so, because, like I said, because um, the drivers were 80% different, 
difficulty in the qualifying. I had to up it up just to make it more challenging for me because I like challenges. Uh, should be interesting. We're starting off at Bahrain. Uh, the uh, calendar lineup is going to be different as well. I forgot to mention that earlier. Uh, in, uh, instead, I'm going to be mixing it up a bit, make it my calendar, make it more interesting on what tracks I'm going to head to. Obviously, sign up with Bahrain because we start off Bahrain uh, this year and last year, so it'd be fitting to start it off at Bahrain as well. Um, as I forgot to mention, we're here in Bahrain for the Bahrain Grand Prix uh, as our first round uh, of the season. Hopefully, it'll be a fun, fun season. We got the new Aston Martin safety car, looks so good. But anyways, enough talk about the intro. Let's jump right in and see what we can do for this first race. Gonna start off on pole. Five lights are up. It lights out and away we go. Everyone gets a good decent start. Pulling a little bit away, but Verstappen is getting a good jump on me. See who's gonna be late to the corners. I uh, go wide, that's not good, but Stefan takes the lead off me. Not a good start for me, but that's okay. It's only in the beginning. Bit, bit of late breaks there. I'll try to catch up to Verstappen. As you can see, Verstappen already takes first place for me. I'm down to I'm down to second place. Hamilton is in third. Uh, Paris is in fourth, and Gasly up to fifth. I didn't see that coming, and I went wide again because I don't know what I'm doing. Now Hamilton takes second place. Try to take it easy if I can. Oh boy. Just stay behind Hamilton. That's all I need to do. Checking on Paris behind me. Oh boy. Jeez. Just a slight tap on the back of his rear. Now I'm going to have to drop on him. See if I can make a late lunge if I can. Gonna go to the outside. Try to get him around the outside if I can. Not quite. He's getting the his rear is stepping out a bit. Could be a good line for me. Not quite. Or maybe. Oh no! No, I spun around. What a terrible start for me. Uh, just like last season, I had a terrible start of the season. Because I spun around twice on a one corner. That time I just went too deep. Um, made a late call of going for a move on the inside. And that was my miss up. So now I'm down to 12, which is not good. I'm running on the soft tires, as you can see here. And lots of, lots of drivers are on mediums. I can see signs on the soft tires ahead of me. Man, not even... No, I'll see if I can re um, refix my errors there and try to salvage the damage if I can. And like I said, this is first video I'm recording on PS5, so bear with me on how I do. Let's try to go. Go for an early break, get a better run at this straight away. DRS is now enabled. Yep. I'm gonna try to squeeze to the inside. There we go. Side by side. Ah, uh, not quick enough. There we go, now I have DRS on Sonoda, gonna try to make a late lunge. There we go, taking 11th place from Sonoda. So now I have jumped back up to 11th, outside the top 10, which I need to catch up on. Do not have DRS there. I'm surprised Sainz is back here, I don't know what happened to him. 
the new Ferrari driver in 2021 after replacing Vettel in the Ferrari after the end of the 2020 season which I can see him right up ahead he's ahead of Sainz at the moment showing he's the fa faster car at the moment and of course Vettel um, announced his retirement at the end of this season the 2022 season he's announcing his retirement of F1 of his F1 career so pretty pretty devastating to see him leave but it's for his own reason for his future life so we can all respect on that oh now Sainz is going for the inside of Vettel as I'm as I've been busy talking about Vettel he's made the move on him see if I can catch up and try to make the move myself Trying to make a late lunge on the inside there. Ooh, this is pretty good, but I'm going to back out. Out. Damn it. Hit the back of Vettel. He's slow through the mid. Hey, there we go again. Man, why is he so slow? How much damage do I have? Because I feel like a, a few slight. Ah, damn it. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Oh, God. Well, now I've damaged my front wing. Jeez. Well, that's not good. Uh, let's go for softer hards now. Try to damage stem. It's not not looking good for me so far. Too many slight damages, and I'm already damaging my front wing. Or or only um, at lap four, about to start lap five, and I'm already damaging damaging my front wing. I've upped the anti on the card damage as well um, to make it more chal challenging and already ready it's a mishap for me so gonna pit early I guess try to slow down oh barely made it Just try to get a good pit stop if I can man what a start for me <laughs> Oh boy. Go, go now. Yep, let's get going. Okay. Not not a good start for me, but that's okay. Only one stop to go. One stop yep, one stop to go. So change the strategy is going from soft to highs now for the next pit stop. Would have been soft to me if I didn't damage my front wing earlier. And for some reason, I completely forgot about the ERS I have uh, for extra speed. I don't know why I didn't use it earlier. But ah well. And for some reason, I can't use my fuel mode either. I guess that's some, something they got, um, they removed or something like that. I don't know. But it seems like my fuel mode is not available for me anymore. So it's only my ERS. It's okay. I don't need. I don't need to win the first round. I don't need to go that pushy. And I was, that doesn't sound sound like a word. Apologies. The gap to the car ahead is sixteen point six seconds. <laughs> yep, you got that right. Two purple sectors said right there on this lap. Could I be looking for a fastest lap here? Let's see. Yes, I do. Fast, fastest lap, obviously because I'm on a new set of soft tires. That's pretty cool. Oh, one of the Ferraris has al already made that pit stop, and that's Sainz. So he's pitted early. I'm a bit far behind from him. Last time I'm out. Make it making some progress trying to catch back up so it's not looking too bad at the moment I mean it's pretty decent if I could do it better than the first than the opening season of last year I'd be pretty happy for a start because I ended up I think 19th uh, last season if I can remember in the opening round by the way, shout out to all you people from Great Britain um, 
see me drive as Lando Norris instead of my own country driver, Daniel Ricardo. For the good sports, um, big shout out to you guys. I'm not, I'm not saying Lando Norris is like per perfect as a teammate for Daniel Ricciardo, but he's a good dri driver. Like I see him, see him as a, um, as an iconic dri driver. I mean, he's his personality is pr pretty decent and funny. Like I see him a great driver on and off uh, the track. He's a fun guy. I'll tell you that. So now a lot of drivers have made their pit stops, and it looks like I'm right behind Alonso and signs of the others. So I'm making some progress here. Gap to car in front is 1.5 seconds. Thank you, Jeff, for giving me the call. As my teammate pits, it's gonna be in between uh, traffic, so it's gonna be in the mid pack somewhere. Hopefully he's not too far back, because I don't want to see Ricardo doing terrible for this season. He moved to McLaren for a reason. Let's see if he can salvage his thing. As I can see him up ahead. Not quite making progress trying to ca catch these guys. Wonder, wondering to see if uh, for seven and Hamilton battle allowed like they did last season and they as they do it in this game as well And the reason I'm doing f1 2021 because I don't have 20 the 2022 game yet But maybe in future I might, might try to As I come behind right behind I'm right behind Alonso uh, Pardon me my speech I'm right behind Alonso, trying to catch up to him, see if I could make a move somewhere, if I can. I gotta use my ERIS carefully. Gonna go for a dive here, as I go on the inside of Alonso. Make the move right there, there we go. And I get past Alonso, right behind Sainz now. Just try to be careful. Oh. Science locks up a bit, but still manages to stick the corner. So now, gonna have ERS deployed and DRS. As Science also has DRS, but he's still a bit faster than me. Oh, it's gonna make a late move on Ricardo. No, not quite close enough. As I go around the outside of Science, what a move by me! It was really good. But now I've got to be careful using my overtake button. As now me, Ricardo Gasly, uh, are stuck behind Mazepin. Yeah, the Russian driver, um, yeah. A bit of a uh, disappointing story. Uh, Mazepin was supposed to do his second season uh, for Haas in F1, but due to the uh, Russian attack on Ukraine, Unfortunately, they had to ship all of Russian sponsor and terminate um, Mazepin's contract for Haas. So, pretty unfortunate. Not because I hate him, it's just because, because his um, country have, have, gone against the, have gone against the world. And now, I'm going to make a dive bomb on Ricardo. As I just realized, Gasly got around Mazepin, and he's so slow. I gotta get around, around them quickly. Okay, sick it. And there I go. Good job. Thank you. So we have to RF and try to catch up to Gasly, who's next. Approaching the pit window, you'll be on the heart. Oh, jeez, already? Well, I guess the soft tires um, wear out quickly on this track. I remember it. I remember it from uh, from previous games that it was out qu quickly here. I'm trying to be careful here. Oh jeez, I need to take my time here. Try not to overdo it. 
because that's one of the thing, things I get wrong when I'm racing against other drivers. I get too I get too impatient, so I got to be careful and take my time. I'm thinking about making a move right there, but it's just a bit too far ahead of me. Gonna go around the outside, possibly. Nope. Oh, yes. Not the way I wanted to, but I'm making a double overtake right there. Not me to go go off wide right there, but apparently it worked out for me. Yes, the rules still apply from last year, so don't worry if I want to cut too hard. But I'm just doing the best I can to make it interesting while also not screwing myself up to not make it interesting. Alright, I've caught up to the back of the pack where Bottas is the next for me to um, uh, overtake. I'm surprised he's back here actually. So, see if I can make a move on him pretty soon. Although, it probably won't matter anyway because I gotta have a, another pit stop soon. So far this is pretty entertaining, not gonna lie. Gotta slow it down here. So I don't wanna overdo it. Jeez. Okay. Nice and calm here. Okay. Let's try to look for a gap here. Leclerc's got around Ovenati. See if Bottas can do the same. Hard on the you got it. A bit slow here. I think Giovinazzi is holding us up. As we, as there's Russell. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, could this be a triple overtake? Maybe. Here we go. Late lunge. There you go. Three and one. Nice. Man, I am so dominant in this overtake um, control. Nice. And I'm back up to 11th where, uh, the, where I see Russell and Schumacher ahead of me. Bit of an early break there, but that's okay. It's not going to matter too much. Oh, jeez. This is where Russell's going to be slow. I'm going to have to die for it. Oh, jeez. Okay. The Schumacher ahead of me. I'm gonna break early, stay behind him. And now it's time for me to pit. Oh, someone else is pitting too. Who's that behind ahead of me? Oh, that's Raikkonen. The um, driver who retired at the end of the 2021 season. Go, go. Good pit stop. See if I can get ahead of anybody. Thought I could get ahead of Raikkonen, but I'm ahead of Latifi and Mazepin, so that's good to know. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. You got it. See if I can warm the tires up a bit. Here we go, I'm getting closer to right, and then I'm gonna make an overtake somewhere. Right here on this straightaway. Got DRS, he doesn't. This is gonna be an easy overtake for me. Don't worry, I'm managing my tires. Now I've got ahead of right, and I think I'm ahead of somebody in the pits there as well as I noticed. And that's Schumacher. So now I'm gonna try and work my way back up to the front. Some information on battle. They seem to have an issue. News from from my engine, Jeff Vettel has got an issue with his engine from his car. So he's gonna be slow. Probably gonna hold the pack up if if he might. And then sooner or later they'll get it fixed. Maybe. It's still early doors. We still have about 
13 laps to go after this one. Um, no, 12 after this one, sorry. Uh, still early doors, still could be some late, late drama coming up. Already had some early drama going off and now might, might have some late drama coming in soon. And now Sainz... The car in front is 10.7 seconds. Now Sainz has pitted for medium tires, so he's done the two pit stop strategy. So now there's going to be drivers ahead that are possibly going to go for a two stop strategy. And some will have a one stop strategy, which means they'll have an advantage on us, maybe. Let's see early doors, we'll see what happens. Alright, so we got drivers pitting in, including my teammate Daniel Ricardo, as my crew chief tells me he's in. So a lot of dri drivers are pitting, so let's see how many I can overtake. If I can beat them to the corner, which I will be, so I jump back up to 8th. Alrighty. Pretty cool. But they're on new medium tires, so they're possibly going to speed up and catch up to me and look for a possible overtake somewhere. Nine laps to go here at Bahrain Grand Prix. As you can see, I'm catching up to some of the drivers ahead of me just a little bit. And I think Bottas is close to my tail now. He's 1.6 behind me now. He's closed the gap more. I could tell, tell he's re really good. He's in the Mercedes, and at the time, Mercedes are fa fast car compared to the rest. But Bottas has been unlucky uh, last year, and because of that, he has dropped, um, been demoted from Mercedes to Alfa Romeo. And oh, we got some yellow flag behind, I can see on the map. Who is that? It looks like someone is retiring. Who is that? No, don't tell me. Is that my teammate, Ricardo? Don't tell me he's retiring. Oh no, and now Bottas is making a move on me. I gotta dive back. There we go. Keeping Bottas at bay as Ricardo retires my teammate. So that sucks. So yeah, getting going very slow now. And Bottas is, got a He's out the race. yeah, has just announced Ricardo is retired. So unlucky, my teammate retiring right from the first race. It's very unfortunate. I got to, I got to break Bottas's draft on me. See, so he's gonna make the move on me somewhere. I'm gonna go to the inside to protect my defense. God, he's breaking lighter than I am. But I'm still keeping it ahead, still keeping him back from uh, back to me, and somehow I got DRS on him. Wow. Okay, now oh, now we got the safety car is out. We've been informed that the safety car is out. There appears to have been an issue with multiple stopped vehicles on the track. Oh, so we got um, so apparently after Ricardo retired, his car has stopped in a dangerous position, so it brought out the safety car, which means everybody's going to be stacking up. Which means I have, might have a ch chance to get into like the top five somewhere there. Because I'm right behind Stroll, Vettel, and Ocon, I think that's ahead of me. No, Alonso, because I believe he's, I believe Ocon's behind me. Maybe, I can't quite remember. Now I gotta catch the safety car. All right, so we're back with um, we're back behind the uh, safety car finally. Uh, we're running in eighth at the moment. We still have the fastest lap, um, surprisingly, but hopefully we can try to salvage the damage, like I said, and try try to get back in front somewhere. So there's th uh, there's two Red Bulls and a Mercedes up t top of the top three. So you have. Uh, I believe in order for Stappen, Hamilton, Perez, Sonoda, Ocon, Vettel, Stroll, me as Norris, Bottas, and Charles Leclerc rounds up the top, top 10. As we still have a few drivers still trying to catch that back up. 
it looks like we're going for another lap for the safety car. Try to um, go around, see if um, we'll have to wait uh, for the safety car to come in, maybe next lap, and we'll get back racing. Okay, so safety car is in this lap. We're about to get back to racing. We have five, four laps to go car is in this for the uh, when we get to the uh, sure start and finish line. And remember, there is no overtaking until the timing line. Stay in position Thank until the green flags. Thank you, Jeff. Running in P8 as the leaders come around the final corner, about to start, uh, about to get back underway. Trying to stay behind so resume racing as the green flag is back out we are back underway with four laps to go and i get a terrible side compared to the rest well that's okay i can make a dive bomb on stroll and there we go up to step seventh b7 gonna try to catch up to Vettel. oh geez i made a big gap there Try to use my overtake button as much as I can. Use as much ERS as I can. Remember, these AIs are 90% difficulty, so it's going to be difficult. Five laps of fuel remaining. Don't need to worry about fuel management because I can't do anything about it. So going to do as much as I can, try to catch up to the pack. I think the best possible spot for me is fourth, which Sonoda has at the moment. So I need to get past Fedel, then Archon, and then Sonoda. I can feel my tires wearing out pretty much. Yeah, I bet so too. As I make a move on Fiddle, it's coming back at me, looking for a lunge on the inside, but not enough. Now I gotta use all of my overtake as I can to catch up to Archon. I can feel it in my controller's vibration. So now I'm back behind Archon, see if I can make a move on this straight. Can I? No, I can't. I gotta stay behind him. Oh boy. Um, um, almost got out of shape. Almost ran into the back of Archon, just like I did with Vettel. But now I'm gonna use much of my overtake to catch up. Maybe make a pass. Oh boy. I'm putting a lot of pressure on him, so hopefully I can get him here. Okay, perfect. I'm trying to make, make a move on the inside of Archon. Now up to P5. I'm back into the top five. And I have DRS. See if I can catch up to Sonoda. He's going to be tough to catch up. But I'm going to do everything I can to get at least P4 for the start of the season. So, so right now I'm looking very quick at the moment. It's a great start for me with two laps to go. Could be could be look, looking for P4 here, but definitely not top five if I can hang in. Got DRS on Sonoda. The top three have pulled away. No chance of catching. Not a, not a good uh, exit on that corner. But this is a good pace. I'm gonna use all my here I am here. Gonna go for the inside. And there we go, P4 almost. Okay, got it. Oh now my tires are going going out pretty bad. Oh not too bad actually, because it's below fifty percent, so it's still good, still decent. We're on the final lap. Made a move on Sonoda in the first corner. And I got P4. See if I can hang on till the end. As now, top three is Verstappen, Hamilton, and Perez. 
with me, Sonoda, Akon, bought us now, to, uh, now up to 7th, and I think that Vettel in 8th, Gasly 9th, and Charles Leclerc running up the top 10. So now I'm just hanging on for P4. It looks like Verstappen should be able to hang, hang on for the win here at Bahrain Grand Prix. It's such a dramatic start at the beginning, made some errors, managed to salvage my damage and get up back up to P4, which is good. So now we have a couple corners left for me. Final corner for the top three. Coming around the corner, Verstappen. It's going to win here at Bahrain for the Bahrain for the for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Crosses the finish line first, Hamilton takes second, Perez takes third in the final spot of the podium, and I take fourth to start off the season. Great stuff by me. Sonoda okay, takes fifth, and Ocon takes sixth. And there you go. Great stuff for me to recover from, from the big mistakes I made at the beginning. Yuki Sonoda takes driver of the day, no surprise. A superb win for Red Bull, definitely. It's a good start for Red Bull. First and third. Definitely going to give them a good lead in the constructors. As a bit unfortunate for my teammate Danny Ricciardo to retire with a mechanical failure. But it's early doors. It's still anybody's game. Yep. Man. What a start. Today after showcasing some incredible driving. Congratulations to Verstappen. To stay competitive with the other teams. And they're certainly proving themselves. Well, there you have it. Verstappen takes the opening win to start off the season. And Hamilton takes second. And Perez takes third. Showing he's a strong force in the Red, uh, in the Red Bull uh, car. Oof. Man. Was that intense or what? Great way to start off. I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed this. Um, so yeah, Verstappen takes the win. Lewis Hamilton takes second. Sergio Perez takes third. Landon, uh, sorry, I take fourth as Lando Norris, and I take the fastest lap as well, so I get an extra point. Yuki Tsunoda takes fifth. Esteban Ocon takes sixth. Valtteri Bottas takes seventh. Sebastian Vettel takes eighth. Pierre Gasly takes ninth, and Charles Leclerc rounds up the top. 10. So there you go. A great way to start off the season. And fortunately, Ricardo DNF, which sucks. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this either way. Um, as I almost said my outro without forgetting the drivers and constructors, which doesn't matter. But after that performance, uh, I leave McLaren team for third spot over Alpha Terry by just one point. So that's good enough for me. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode to start off the season. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe on the host channel grow. If you guys like the videos, make sure you hit that like button. If you guys know suggestions, make sure you a comment down below. Next episode for the next race, we will be at, I think it's the South, um, not Saudi, Abu Dhabi race. Normally it's at the end of the season like it, like they normally do. But, like I said at the beginning, I've switched my calendar, I've made it completely my own, so it's the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, that is next. Hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun there, just like this one. Hopefully we'll get some good results, and hopefully Ricardo can um, get some points in the next race. But until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.